I'm sure some of you are asking, why is this called a mullet bike? Well, just like the hairstyle with different hair lengths front to back, a mullet bike has different sized wheels, big in the front to tackle obstacles and smaller in the back for better handling. While the size difference is more subtle compared to the old school penny farthing bikes, the Cyberbike mullet with its 29 inch front and 27.5 inch rear wheels paired with a powerful mid-drive motor makes this an electric mountain bike for serious riders who don't want to spend a fortune. I didn't know what to expect with this. We got the cyber bike all set up. We're gonna do a walkthrough now, and then after the walkthrough, we're gonna do a test ride. This is the Mola Pro. It's got the 29 inch tire on the front and the 27 and a half inch tire on the back. It's got Maxxis tires on it, which are high quality tires. You do have to upgrade to get the throttle. You do have some Wolf four piston hydraulic brake levers. And then here's the display. The really nice color display paired up with the 500 watt mid drive motor. You can just go through the pedal assist levels, three, four, all the way up to five. So if you're not really wanting tons of assistance, but on long climbs, it can get really tiring. You'll want to stick with the one or two. If you're pretty lazy, just jam it up to five or hit the throttle. A thumb shift right here of 10 gears. You have some rubber grips here. I'll probably end up switching these with some death grips. I like some DMR death grips on mine, just a little bit softer, but these do feel pretty decent for stock handlebar grips. You do have a dropper post lever here. Being able to adjust the dropper post with just this lever makes it much easier. Going down here, we have the battery, which is a Samsung battery. It's a 13 amp hour battery, so it has 624 watt hours. They state that it should get you 62 miles of range, but that's just gonna be depending on what type of pedal assist level you're using. And then here's this really nice aircraft aluminum grade frame. Very minimal damage from shipping and Seems like it's got some really great design to it. Coming up here, we have 34 millimeter suspension. This is designed for e-bikes because a lot of suspension is really only designed for mechanical bikes. This one is designed for e-bikes, so it's a lot thicker, 34 millimeters with 120 millimeters of travel right here. So pretty decent amount of travel in the front where you can adjust the air suspension and the lockout on here. 203 millimeter brake disc with four piston hydraulic brakes. So you got two pistons pushing from this side, two pistons pushing from the other side. This should get you really good stopping power. Um, we're used to seeing e-bikes with only two piston brakes four piston brakes is far superior to them. Then we have this quick release for the front tire. It's really easy, there's no tools needed. You just can loosen it right up and pull the front tire right off. This rear wolf suspension has 195 millimeters of travel and you can adjust the lockout with the adjustable rebound on here too. So there's your lockout right there. And then you can adjust the suspension from the top and the bottom chamber. It does come with two keys. It makes it easy for removing the battery for charging purposes, or if you're just trying to reduce the weight on a bike rack, you just turn this and pull sideways and it pulls right out. This is a Samsung battery cell, so it should be high quality batteries inside of this. And to put it back in, you just simply stick it in the notch down there, twist the key, shut it and lock it into place and you're good to go. Right here you have a 500 watt mid-drive motor. This is much better than your cadence sensors that you got going on. This is a torque sensor that will feel how much you're pedaling into it, how much force you're putting into it. So it's much more responsive. And when it boils down to it, if you're gonna be doing any extreme mountain biking, a torque sensor with a mid-drive motor is the only way to go. I'm surprised that mountain bikes are even offered as a hub drive motor just because of that delay. You can't be on the mountain with delays. There's so many technical things on a mountain bike trail that you really need a torque sensor. And in the rear here, we have a 27 and a half inch tire by 2.4 inches with the 180 millimeter brake disc. One thing I don't notice in the rear is there is no shift sensor. So just be careful when you're throttling and shifting through gears. Um, you might want to try to lower your pedal assist levels to zero when you're shifting through gears without a shift sensor, or you can add one pretty easily. And these are tubeless tires. So that's the only way to go when it comes to mountain biking. Just an overall high quality mountain bike that's ready to hit the trails. All right, Andrew, thanks for showing us around on the Cyberbike Mullet Pro. It's the first ever mullet e-bike mid-drive motor with a torque sensor that I've ever seen. I'm excited to test it just because the words mid-drive, torque sensor, they get me excited. The Trek Rail 7, which was like 7,000 bucks or 8,000 bucks. Mm -hmm. This is a fraction of that price, 
but let's see if it performs just as well. We're gonna get our safety gear on and take this to a mountain bike course where we can properly test it. Okay, so we got our safety gear on. Andrew's on the cyber bike, Mullet Pro, and we're here in the state park. We're gonna take it through some light trails on our way over to the bike park to really test it out. But so far, Andrew, how's it been going? I'm loving this thing. It performs very well for being half the cost of my Trek Rail 7. They're very similar. The geometry feels great and it feels pretty true to a traditional mountain bike. I love the tires and the brakes on this. It's $3,500, but it's a budget e-bike compared to all the other full suspension mountain bikes out there. But these tires are great quality and the four piston brakes give great stopping power. So that little trail, it was small, it was short, it was fun though. Andrew, how'd it handle? Handled excellent. It's a lot more work than an EEC or e-scooter. Ultimately, I love mountain biking. It's just a great way to get exercise. How can you complain getting in nature and launching it off jumps? The main purpose of electric full suspension mountain bikes is so you can get up to the top faster, but downhill trails are such a workout. It's a core workout. You're gonna still pedal. You have to pretty much pedal assist this all the time unless you're using throttle but that's in zero pedal assist so you definitely get a lot of work i just went through that short trail and i'm already breathing pretty hard all right next stop we're gonna go take it to the mountain bike course wow that just rolled right over that that's pretty awesome actually sometimes those things that are super high pitch they're hard to get over, but with that big, massive 29 inch tire in the front, it rolled right over and was really easy just to go right over that feature. So one of the big parts about e-mountain biking, you don't have to work as hard to get to the features that you want to try. Like going up some of these hills and stuff. Yeah. You're still putting in work though, right? Oh man, I'm, I'm exhausted already. <laughs> So this was our durability portion of the video. We're testing the durability of this bike. Yeah, that was poor form by me. Whenever we do these features, sometimes I consider not recording the first time because I know he's not gonna get it. But actually, the first time is when I should be recording because that's the time that he's most likely to crash. And, and you guys love watching that kind of stuff. <laughs> All right, the camera never shows it, but that was a really steep hill. Yeah. And uh, Andrew just powered up that, not because of his cardiovascular fitness, <laughs> but because of the motor. So tell us how that felt. Felt great, man. It's, I love that this is a mid-drive motor. There's no way, if you're gonna get a full suspension mountain bike and you get a hub drive motor, shame on you. It's really not the way to go. This just feels like a natural mountain bike, but it felt like I had superhuman powers climbing up that mountain. I turned it all the way up into pedal assist five. I could have left it lower, but Jimmy was leaving me in the dust. So I had to climb right up with him. We're going to try out a couple more features. Check out our written review at ebikepedia.com. And remember, when you guys ride, wear your safety gear. <laughs>